Okay, so today we're going to start actually building the subfloor, which is pretty nice because then it won't be cold underfoot anymore. <laughs> so we've got some uh, 25 mil, uh, 50 mil by 25 mil batons here, which we're going to lay down on the floor. Yeah. And then we've got at the back here our 25 mil Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> extra therm, which is going to go in between that. So it's going to make a little lattice on the floor. I'm not going to get cold feet anymore. And insulate that. Abby's about to make the first cut. I haven't sawed anything in years. <laughs> so, it's probably going to be rubbish, but. Nice and straight. Let's try. Almost through. There we go. Nice. It's One tinted, floor but baton. That's not too bad. with our batons going across it's actually not taking too long this time for a change but we just got to a predicament where we wanted to have some batons um, vertically going up like this however because all of the ones going horizontal are resting on these ribs here if we wanted to put one here it's obviously going to be too can get it in, too shallow so it's not going to be flush with the top and also it's sort of hanging down like that so we're trying to to work out what we're going to do we thought well, maybe we could use some of the plywood that came out of the van when we took it out from the floor and the wheel out but unfortunately it's eight mil and the difference that we would need is 12 mil you can even see if you just stand on it here yeah it's <coughs> like bowing yeah so what we don't want is to to just avoid doing that and then put the whole floor in and everything and then walk to the edge of the van or have heavy the things goes, like yeah that, like so. the fridge and batteries and yeah. stuff like that Got a bit of a hailstorm going on at the moment. I'm in my tea. <laughs> Tragedy. Do you think by the end of the conversion we'll safely say that we've literally worked through every single type of weather you can get? Most likely, yes. <laughs> Apart from maybe tornadoes, yeah. volcanic ash cloud, hopefully. <laughs> I guess we've got to be thankful we don't have any of that. So Abby's just marking out all of the lengths that we're going to cut for all of the vertical pieces and it's quite satisfying. We've just been trying to optimise how many we can get out of the remaining wood we've got without having too much left. So if we've done our calculations right, we should get it all done with only six centimetres of wastage on the end. 61 and a half plus 20 and a half is 82. Is that Good right? Mass. <laughs> many skills of being provided through in this van. Marking up this wood reminds me of being in school. I think it's probably in DT was the last time we did this kind of thing. Throw back. Good fun though. Awesome, nice clean cut. 
Not my glasses, by the way. I think they're very fetching. <laughs> <laughs> Could barely see anything out of them. <laughs> So we're just using this sander to just get rid of, of uh, any rubbishy bits on these batons and just sanding down the edges where they've got some splinters on and uh, be able to put them back in the van. So that's all the pieces cut for the floor so now we just got to assemble it and hope they all fit together. Looking forward to this bit, it's going to be good. There we go, Jenga Tower. just cleaning the wheel arch because we are about to cover it up like we have on this side with uh, this kind of bubble foil which we're doing basically just to protect the wheel arch really and just hopefully dampen the sound a little bit um, but at the moment we can't do carry on with the floor too much because it's not uh, warm enough for the adhesive which is just something we keep experiencing so over and over again. We're literally like ready to stick these down and of course it's minus one outside. Yeah. And our sticker flex says minimum temperature is five for it to work properly. Five degrees. But we, we do actually have a radiator on in here um, because we, we need it, otherwise it's literally too cold to work in here. And you can see inside, yeah, inside it's 13.3 degrees, which is actually pretty good. But obviously this has been really handy, actually, this little probe. On the floor where we want to stick, what have we got here? It's only four degrees. So we're gonna to have to basically just wait until it gets a little bit warmer, hopefully just a few degrees, and then even then, we'll have to leave the radiator on to do it. So yeah, stuff like that, you just don't really think about, or at least we didn't really think about at the time. I think it's about another four days before it goes above five. It's gonna be amazing in the spring, isn't it? <laughs> Imagine just being able to have the door open, you know, the sound of the birds outside, enjoying the <laughs> frolicking in the sunshine. It's quite fun playing around probing with this, obviously, um, as a bit of a geek. But it's about seven degrees, a little bit above the um, wheel arch here. So I'm not touching the probe to it, just hovering it above. About seven degrees. If I come over to the other side, which has now got the reflective foil on it, goes up instantly to eight, sometimes nine it goes up. So you can see, oh, there you go, nine. So it's reflecting the heat back off and uh, radiating it back, which is. Uh, pretty satisfying so you know obviously if you have enough air gap all around with this reflective foil then you do get a benefit from it which is why they cover these in reflective foil as well but obviously in most places in the van we won't have enough gap because if I touch it to it it completely changes it and becomes conduct um, conductive heat which is a completely different kettle of fish altogether so in order for that to re radiate reflect it needs to have at least three quarters of an inch gap really between it so at the moment we have that with a wheel arch because it's not covered. Not actually sure what we're going to do with that yet. We might end up leaving it a little bit open or we might box it in, so we're not sure. But here, on these bits, when we're going to panel down, there should actually be a natural gap of about that anyway, all the way down here. So this, we will actually get that benefit. So, yeah. I think Abby's found something else she really enjoys. I love this tape. I never knew this existed before. It's like tinfoil. But sticky. <laughs> I need your help though, Tim, please. I like how it moulds perfectly over the um, yeah. foil bubbles underneath. And then it Actually, you can, bear, yeah, you can barely even tell there's even tape on it. It's really satisfying. It's really so we're back out in the van today after four days. <laughs> it is finally warm enough. The cold spell has passed and it's warm enough to actually stick down a floor. <laughs> <laughs> just tested it it's 13 degrees on the floor now a nice nice 13 that's with the radiator on though so it's still you know it's not warm outside but it's mild 
And uh, yeah, so we can actually do it now. We don't want to. It's almost have... tropical. It's almost <laughs> tropical in comparison. It feels like it. You can see we actually had one panel has fallen off the roof uh, from the stick pins. So yeah, if, if it's not the right temperature, we really don't want to risk doing any more and have uh, problems like that. So that's a little bit annoying. I have to fix that. But yeah, let's get, get, get on it. Let's get sticking. This is it. It's going on. It's quite hard to put it on. Squeeze. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. This is a nice satisfying part once it's all ready to go. Just ooze it down gently. Make sure it's straight. <laughs> Nice. So it's starting to come together now, we've got a few of them stuck down. We're just trying to weigh it down with something, uh, which we've conveniently raided the larder and grabbed loads of cans of custard and <laughs> coconut milk and stuff. It was the only thing we could think of that was small enough to sit on these beans. <laughs> There's quite a lot of custard in here at the <laughs> So the bad news this morning is we've lost another couple of roof panels. The good news is the beams we've stuck down are solid as a rock. So that's good. So um, two steps forward, one step back. I think we're going to have to, it was just too cold when we stuck those. Didn't really think about that at the time, but it was probably, you know, we would have gone below freezing for sure the night that we stuck all those down. It's a little bit annoying because we're basically not trusting them now. We're going to have to redo the whole roof. It's about 12 degrees today, which sounds ridiculous, but it's the first day in so long that I've been able to just stand outside in my t-shirt. Oh, lovely. Right, let's go and see these sheep. Most of these are only a few days away from having their lambs. Hello ladies. How are you doing? I think they're suffering a little bit, poor things. Let's go and see what Tim's doing. How's it going, Tim? Pretty good. We are slowly building a floor. You can actually kind of stand on it now. Yay. Quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a few more to stick down and then uh, all the foam will go in. It's going to start taking shape. Nice. So while we're waiting for uh, some more Sigaflex to arrive, we are going to try and tackle this uh, problem we've got with this pillar. So this is where it was, uh, there's water pooling at the bottom, which we think is coming from one of the uh, seals on the roof that's um, a little bit weak and it's traveling through the inside pillar here um, and then pooling in here. If I tip this stick, you can see there's a fair amount in there, about five mil of water at the bottom. So Abby's just climbing up onto the roof to see if she can find a source of the leak. Uh, meanwhile, I'm down here under the van, um, a little bit muddy under here, just trying to figure out how we can get that water out. Maybe there's a drain hole that's blocked or something. So I was just trying to figure out where exactly the pillar is in relation to, you know, this corner. And then I just noticed this little thing here, let's pull this back, it's got completely dripped on. What? So there's a little um, plug here, and there you go, it's just draining out nicely. So. It's just a rubber plug, isn't it? There you go. So you can see our wires up there and the start of the fluffy insulation. How dirty am I? Um, pretty dirty. Really? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we might just have to keep an eye on that because we can't replicate it right now and to see if anything does build up inside again. But at least now we know we can drain it, which is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hello, Ico. Jackson's come to explore as well. <laughs> Go on then, time to get out.
So all the part of the front now is nicely stuck down. It's looking really solid. And it was good because we ran out of stuff to put on it, all the paint pots and tins and stuff. So now we can take those and move it down. We've just got three more by the door here to do. And, uh, and then it's all done. Then we can start putting in the board, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Yay! Very groovy. So this is the uh, adhesive that we went for. It's Sikaflex 522, which is the newer version of 512. Um, it's an adhesive and a sealant, so it works pretty well. It's designed specifically for caravans, camper vans, and that sort of thing. So we're using that, and um, hopefully it's going to do the job well. It can be quite difficult to get to actually squeeze out, depending on how warm the stuff inside is. But it's not being too bad today, fortunately. And let's go and get the bat on. Unfortunately, because some Very of our the obstacle course. <laughs> yeah, some of our batons are a bit damp, so we've just been drying them on the radiator here. That's nice and dry now, so that's good. <laughs> it's so difficult to not walk on there. <laughs> there we go. Nicely in there. Actually, you went out. I'm joking. Nope. Ah, nice. Ah, good dried wood. All the wood stuck down now, which looks pretty good from here. Just got to imagine that all the custard and everything is not there. It's a bit messy at the moment. <laughs> So tonight's the night, we've just had the first lamb born. Let's go and take a look. And there she is. There's the first lamb. Just starting to prance around now. See if it fits. Nice. That's awesome. So just grab the piece of the old ply floor just to put down so that we can actually move around in here. Otherwise, <laughs> we've basically got rid of all the part where we can walk. And uh, it's pretty cool because it gives an indication of what it's going to be like when we have the real floor in. This one is actually a little bit wappy in places, it dips in. Um, and this is an 8mm ply, so I think decided we're going to go with a 12mm ply and we actually do the proper one. But uh, yeah, it's looking really good. Happy's just finishing up those two back there. It's nearly finished! Just got that back third to do, and, uh, and then we're done. Yes. What's quite nice about these ones is uh, there's obviously no glue or anything to put in. You just cut them to size, drop them in. Job's a good one. Yeah, I'm very glad we did it this way around. Uh, doing this last and the, the walls first. That is true actually, <laughs> yeah. Got the nice easy part to finish off with. <laughs> Thank you.
the last piece of the floor jigsaw is going in. Yay. Will it fit? Perfect. Nice. Here we are. All done. So we're just taping up now with aluminium tape the um, the board to the floor, which is a nice, really quick part. Very satisfying. More like a spaceship every day in here. It does. So while Abby's finishing off just the last few um, boards at the end, just starting to go round and just completely seal up the edges here, just so that it stops anything falling down through the floor and it's just one complete sealed piece. So yeah, it's going pretty well. Almost there. Hang in there. Ah, there we go, the line <laughs> on our completed, well, almost completed for the yeah. subfloor at least, the insulated floor. Look how shiny. And actually it's not cold, which is amazing. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice to actually have finished that now. Yeah, you can start to get an idea of what it's going to be like in here. Yeah, it feels like we're about to start a new era of a camper van build. <laughs> we are, and it's going to be a warm underfoot one as well. <laughs> Hopefully. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget you can subscribe below to follow our build.